And we wanted to hold a special meeting today and announce to the community of Bemidji and our area here in northern Minnesota that um, we have a partnership that's been working, we've been working on for a few years uh, with Ottertail Power and Bemidji State University in the city of Bemidji to uh, introduce and install our car charging stations in the city of Bemidji. And so with us today is our mayor, Rita Albright, and the sustainability director, uh, Erica Bailey Johnson from Bemidji State University. Anna Carlson from Bemidji State University Office of Sustainability as, as well. And Darren Montrenach, the did I get your last name right? Matadich. Matadich, sorry. <laughs> Okay. That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. But, uh, manager here in Otter Hill Power. So what we'd like to do is um, just kind of talk about the program and introduce you to the locations that we have charge stations at in the, in the community. So um, I'm just going to kind of ask the mayor to speak now. Well, thanks and thank you to Otter Hill Power and, and the AWSU for being our partners in this and for uh, putting together this time so that we can introduce it to the community. I always think that governments, especially uh, bureaucracies like city governments, state, uh, federal, they're not necessarily light on their feet and they don't always um, look to the future and plan to the, from the future. And I like to think that this uh, electric vehicle charging station effort that we've had as partners is kind of planning from the future because while there might not be that many electric vehicles around right now, we know that the number of electric vehicles is increasing every day. And we as a community want to be prepared for that, whether that's for our citizens or for our visitors. And we want people to know that if they're going to come to Bemidji and visit, that they'll have a place that will be very accessible and very affordable for them to charge their vehicles. So we think it's going to be a positive thing for our residents who already own vehicles and for those that might purchase them and also for people who want to visit our community and are wondering, can I make it from St. Cloud to Bemidji, and what will I do when I get there to charge my vehicle? So I'm very excited about the project, and I really appreciate the work that Bemidji State University and their Office of Sustainability have done, and our partner, Otter Tail Power, for really stepping up to support this financially. It's been a great partnership. So again, I'd like to say miigwech to, to the city and to Otter Tail and to, is it, what's the, is it electrical, what's the name of this? North Country Electrical Services. North Country Electrical Services, yeah, for providing this opportunity. Um, a conversation basically occurred between Anna Carlson at the American Planning Association and Nate Matthews kind of on the side and it got the whole ball rolling um, and voila, here we are providing our community with the infrastructure to charge plug-in vehicles. But manufacturing the electric cars is more polluting, you say. Because electric cars store power in large uh, lithium, uh, lithium ion batteries, which are particularly material and energy intensive to produce, their global warming emissions at the early stage um, usually exceed those of conventional vehicles. But <laughs> take into account the full life cycle of electric vehicles, from manufacturing to ultimate disposal and reuse, and battery electric cars generate half the emissions of the average comparable gasoline car, even when pollution from battery manufacturing is considered. But electric vehicles plug into an electric grid that is more polluting than gasoline, you say. Electric grids vary across the country in the amount of clean energy they provide, but fortunately, all energy grids are getting cleaner. Plugging into Otter Tail or Beltrami Electric's energy grid is significantly cleaner than any standard gasoline vehicle. But electric vehicles don't go very far, you say. Electric vehicles vary in their range, but most are significantly less than gasoline vehicles. Much more planning must go into the purchase of an electric vehicle to find out if it will work for you. Anyone that commutes 20 miles or less into work would be a great candidate for an electric vehicle. They do work in cold weather. You can ask my son, Noah, he did his uh, science fair project on electric vehicles and, and cold weather and the impacts of, that that has. The Bemidji electric vehicle charging station infrastructure will be a helpful tool to residents considering an electric vehicle purchase. 
and researchers are constantly working on improved battery technologies. But electric vehicles are slow, you say. Actually, electric vehicles are much more efficient at converting energy to power. Electric vehicles convert about 60% of the electrical energy from the grid to power the wheels, whereas gasoline vehicles convert only 20% of gasoline energy to power the wheels. This provides quiet, smooth operation and stronger acceleration. The country of Norway has decided to ban the sale of new gasoline and diesel powered cars starting in 2025. Many more countries are considering following suit. We must also prepare for life in a fossil fuel free future. Electric vehicles are a step in a better direction. So on behalf of Bemidji State University, miigwech for allowing us to be a part of this exciting um, opportunity for Bemidji. I guess I'd like to introduce myself, Anna Carlson. I work with Erica in the Sustainability Office. I also work for an organization called the Clean Energy Resource Teams. I'm their Northwest Regional Coordinator. We're really excited to share in this event and um, help educate and promote sort of the use of these, these systems. This is going to be one of the first public stations in our region. And uh, we know that there's going to be a lot of questions that arise out of the technology and the, and the systems in general. So uh, here at, at this table, we're going to partner and do an event coming up at the end of August, on August 31st. We're going to bring together people from both sort of the user side, the driver side, and, and also the more technological side to answer some of those questions for community members. So I ask you to put a hold on that date if you're interested in, in learning more about electric vehicles um, in northern Minnesota. And just want to thank all the partners uh, here at the city. I've been really fortunate to work with them in their Green Step Cities initiative over the past few years. Bemidji is recognized as a step three city. We're really proud of that. And this is just another example of the great forward thinking initiatives the city of Bemidji is, is uh, engaged with. We're really proud of, to work with all these partners. So thank you. Thanks. Um, my name is Darren Matetich. I'm an operations manager for Ottertail Power in Bemidji. Um, and I know this project started for me about a year ago when it was brought to my attention. And got some great folks from Ottertail Power that were a help in uh, purchasing the car charging units. But um, we're very proud of the ongoing relationship, partnership we have with the city of Bemidji, uh, Bemidji State University, as well as North Country Electric as well. Um, without that, uh, these projects, they might, might not be possible. So I want to thank you guys and everybody for that. Um, we're also glad to be able to provide these chargers to our customers, as well as the people that are visiting Bemidji. I think it's a great thing. Uh, to show our company is dedicated to the EVs, uh, we did um, just implement a new rate. It's called Drive On. So we can charge our electric vehicles if you purchase one on off-peak rate from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and the, the, the rate is very, it's a very nice, attractive rate um, as well. Um, we also feel the infrastructure uh, might bring more EVs to the area as well. Uh, you know, who knows, down at Holland Bay or out here, maybe we'll have a whole line of them uh, before too long. So, um, again, I just want to thank everybody that's been involved, uh, City of Bemidji, BSU, and North Country again, uh, as well as Otter Hill Power. Um, Appreciate it and really enjoy being a 